Andre, aka Soul Street Sneaker Colorado. I remember that joke from the last video. Yeah, what up? I will never let it fail. That was a long time ago. Co stands for corporation or company? Colorado. What By up? the way, that was a joke, okay? He's Soul Street Sneaker Co, short for company. I was out in Chicago for NBA All Star weekend with Adidas. If you haven't watched that video yet, it's about their legacy program, which is great. Go check that out. But that was all on the brand side of things. Mm. There's another side, the streets. Yeah. The cold, dark, lonely nights. Yeah, Chicago's different. Out. It was certainly worth going and braving the elements and the cold and the, it was worth it, man, it was worth it. Okay. It was a good trip. So today is Thursday, the first drop of Supreme. Thursday, Supreme Thursdays. Okay, we're gonna split it up into two split videos. Summer 20, baby. This is specifically going to be the All-Star Weekend video. I'm yes. gonna ask you about everything that happened, and then the second part is going to be all about Supreme and what you picked up today. We're gonna bust out the bags, all right, yeah. Okay, so let me start off with this. When did you get out to Chicago? I got to Chicago Thursday morning, probably around 10 a.m., 9.30 a.m., somewhere in there. Did you fly Which was a Chicago? little late to the party. I drove to Chicago, it was a little late to the party, because even though All-Star Weekend was that weekend, and I was a little bit early for the weekend, they really started rolling out the releases the week before. So like in a perfect world, I would have been there like Monday when they dropped the 85s, then Wednesday they dropped the airship packs. So like people that were there from Monday, or like some people went from like the Friday before that, those guys really killed, you know what I mean? But for me having gone on Thursday, from Thursday to Sunday, not a complaint in the world. What was the housing situation like? Oh, there was no housing situation. You didn't even Thursday pay for a hotel. Morning. No, we were like, once we got there, we were looking through hotels tonight, trying to figure it out once okay. we got there. But, um, you know, luckily, thankfully, hotels tonight found us a nice room, double bed. How many nice dudes spot, were you rolling with? Six guys, right? <laughs> so, One room. Six guys, one room, double bed. We don't, we don't need the room like that, right? We're not really sleeping. We on go really time. Need is a shower, right? We on go time. All we need is a shower and somewhere to safely keep the pairs, right? So we get to the hotel, we check in, and the lady says, Oh, I'm so sorry to inform you. What? One bed. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> one bed. Hey, at least you're being one honest bed. About yeah, man. It was rough, man. One bed, six dudes. It was rough. We had guys sleeping in the car all weekend, basically. It was guys sleeping in the car all weekend. We weren't like in the hotel room until Saturday that much. Like, you know what I mean? Like Thursday night, we slept for a little bit, a couple hours in the room, you know what I mean? Like, there was a chair, there was like two chairs in there, like a standard chair and a rolling chair. There was like a guy sleeping in each of those chairs. There were two guys sleeping on the floor and two guys sleeping in the bed. It was bad. It was that or like a thousand dollar night suite. Okay. That wasn't happening. Thursday and Friday were the coldest days <laughs> during that stretch of the weekend. What was the game plan? You know what's funny, man? Like, it's funny because a lot of the guys out there in Chicago, shout out to all the good people I met in Chicago, all the wonderful dudes. It's funny because like a few of them came up to me and were like talking like, yo, so y'all New York guys, y'all come down here. Like, what's that game plan? What do y'all do? Like, how do, how do y'all do it? Do y'all have a leader? Like, who's the boss? Do y'all like try to work it out beforehand? And I'm like, there's no game plan. It's just, we just going out there, all right, we checking all the spots, all right, we tapping in with each other, you know what I mean? With all the other groups of guys that are out there that we know and like, where's it at? What's it, what, when's it going down? Whatever, whatever. All right, here, bap, bap. We just running around winging it the whole shit was just winging it you know i mean you have to know like obviously you're going for the most profit of course right for the packs okay the so that's the game pack. plan yeah go the for game the packs. plan go, yeah but right. i mean we're not gonna not pick up 85s throughout that i'm not gonna not no, obviously chase down fucking right. tanks you know what i mean but the but priority the, is to get the packs the priority was the packs yeah. so where did you go to get the packs so the luckily day approach. one the best approach for the packs were probably at the hub they did a, a huge pop-up jordan brand they rented out an armory and they had what they called the hub 23 and it was just you know a massive space what are your thoughts basketball about? court i think it was an amazing space i think they spend a lot of money to not recoup so much of it but i guess that's all marketing budget i don't know no. They just they didn't sell it's a lot about of the stuff experience. out of there. Yeah, it's about the experience. Was, but even still, experience wise, like they were like you know you go walk around and look at the booths with nobody in it to tell you anything or like nothing to interact with, just looking at the product. Do you know what I mean? So like the experience wasn't even that great to me, honestly. The basketball court they had set up was cool. They had like games with like all the local use in there going on throughout the whole weekend. I think they were giving away Jordan threes to all the kids. You know what I mean? It was nice, but um, what did I've you seen want better experiences? Better improved. 
like somebody there just to give yeah, context. Yeah, like about the yeah, story exact now? context about the story. I mean, like more interactive kind of things. Like you know, like Foot Locker tried to do a lot of experience stuff. They had like you know three point shootouts here and there and this and that. A little more interactive, like, I guess. Yeah, interactive with the experience. And not that I really care about the experience so much. Like experience is all the way at the bottom of my list. You know what I mean? But it is nice to have one there to like kill some time. You know, some downtime afterwards. The hub was like the best spot. My first purchase when I got there was a couple of Jordan threes at like a HOH that they had grand opened over there on State These? Street. Yeah, the Chicago threes, Shot Town exclusives, which are now coming to a sneakers pass, a sneakers app near you. But I do believe it's just leftover pairs from Shy, so it's not gonna be that money. Nothing to get yourself up in a tizzy about. So it still holds value in your Yeah, eyes. I think these are good. I think these are good money. Okay. So, uh, and the streets love them. So, um, and they smell great, man. Yeah. All right, so the first thing I was doing was buying a couple of threes, right? Because okay. there was no first come situation for anything better at that point when I arrived that morning, right? Then I got a phone call, yo. My boy Chris called me, yo, come down the block, come come to the Jordan store. The HOH was two blocks away from Jordan store on State Street. So I run over there, there's 100 people online, and um, they're selling packs and 85s on a first come basis at that moment. What time was this? This was 11.30, maybe noon. On Thursday? On Thursday, yeah. So um, I, I don't know, I think they might have sold like 30, 40 like, packs and these before wound up getting shut down. Just everybody got the word, everybody got the phone call, everybody ran over there. It turned to shit quickly. Were you first in line? Or what? I was not be. first in line, no. But you got that the phone was, call that was awesome. Friend. Yeah, that was awesome. I was there for all the three minutes before I got in the store. It was amazing. It was amazing. That was one of the loopiest things ever. For real? Yeah, oh it took God. took you three minutes to Maybe get in Maybe three there. minutes from the time I arrived in front of that store to the second I was inside. Right place at the right time. Uh, amazingly so. It wasn't no security guard let me in. It wasn't no I saw a friend. I just saw a little opening and went pew. Give me an inventory uh, update. So now at this point I got like four or five pairs of Chicago 3s because of those six people, two of them were workers of mine. Okay. Right? So I got like six pairs of Chicago 3s at that point, one pair of 85s and one set of ships, one ship pack. Good to cover one your trip. Pack. Yeah. From, from that point, I'm like, go time now, lit. Doesn't matter, worst case scenario, all my bases are covered. Right, I'm selling these bad boys for 300, 320 a while. This is a 1500 to $2,000 shoe. I'm like, no matter what, the trip is paid for. So now it's time, now I don't have to have such a heavy heart. I don't gotta be so worried. Everything is just, you know, now it's about from this time. point. Yeah, everything from this point is just to go. There was nothing else really throughout the day. We ran around, checked out a couple spots, entered a couple raffles, you know what I mean? But there was nothing else really throughout the day at that point. Um, come nighttime, Thursday night, they had an invite only event at the uh, Hub 23 spot, mm -hmm. right? And that was like, um, they sold some sneakers to VIPs or like to people that were on that invite list. I got in there just a little bit too late because by the time I got, in there and realized where the line was for purchase and got on that line and stood on it for a little because that line you can't play with that line those people on that line are like nike execs and corporate and everybody in the world who's somebody so you can't play with that line i'm not an idiot but um by the time i got to the front of that line there really wasn't much left at that point because they didn't have off whites out at all they didn't have any fear of gods all i was able to get from that line was another pair of threes yeah. so thursday night at that party yeah you left the party, stayed in the car. Well, we left the party, we went to go get food. Right. We went to go put stuff in the hotel room, take showers. I was back at Hub probably 2 a.m. or something like that. And there was a, a whole horde of people out there. Right? Yeah, they had, a, they had this huge tent set up. There was right. like a block long, this tent. And everybody was just huddled up in the tent for the most part. Damn. Yeah, it was, it was messy, it was cold, it was cold. Uh, New York dudes, Chicago dudes? It was cold. New York dudes, Everyone? Chicago dudes, LA dudes, every dude in the world, like just, the hordes, just people. Okay, before we continue, how's the reception you've been getting? Do people hate you? Do people mess with you? They know you? No, a lot of people know me. Shout out to all y'all. I appreciate it. A lot of people come and say, oh shit, so shoot it up. Uh, Tony, I see you all the time. Like, no, I get, yo, do on that. God they do. Don't on do that. On God man. they, they do that to do me not. in Supreme downtown in Soho. You're the guy in the videos with Tony Mew. Uh, they yes. don't say the Mew part, but all they right, say right. the Tony. They're like, you're the guy. <laughs> they do not say that. They do, I swear. I'm gonna record the next one. <laughs> They'd be like, yo, he's the guy from the Supreme Doc. No, they know me from these videos as well. Right. I swear to you they do. Well, appreciate everyone yeah, that's I watching. I swear to you they guy. do. Yeah. All right, so um, Thursday night to Friday, we camped out. We was just camped out. We got in the hub, they had 85s for us. Okay. That was it, 85s for us. How many pairs did you I got just get that day? Friday. One. One. Both of my kids, the, the, the people I brought down with me, Bless their heart, they just, they don't move fast enough. So I got one, right? One more 85 that day. So now I'm up a pack, a bunch of threes, and two pairs of 85s, right? Cool, then after that we leave, we run around, buy more Jordan 3. I think I bought 40 pairs of these in total. It's like, there are a lot of Jordan 3s involved. 
running around. Bob Mojo and three, he's still raffling too, you know what I mean? Et cetera, okay. et cetera. Okay. Now, Friday night, we're on State Street, thinking they're gonna give out wristbands or something for leftover off whites, right? We get a phone call from a buddy of mine. Yo, get to the hub. The hub is probably 20 minutes away at nighttime and no traffic, right? So one of my boys, Rico. Did we get a time frame on this? Nighttime? This was 10? Two in the morning. Two in the morning? Two in the morning, yeah. Oh, okay. We out there, we out there, we out there. Saturday morning. So we, we run the hub. The most dangerous driving I've ever been a part of in my entire life. By the way, you know the hub is in the south side of Chicago, right? Yeah. The kid that was driving was doing like a buck 20 down Chicago streets talking about, I hope they have stop signs. <laughs> like the other direction, like just flying. Flying. Because he thought in his mind that they were releasing them at 2 a.m. No, no, no. We heard wristbands. So it's, we got to get there for the wristband. We get there in time to find out that they gave away a hundred wristbands and that's it. hundred wristbands, yeah, I know what they for. They for the off-white Jordan. Security didn't give a shit. We got a hundred wristbands, y'all know what they for. You weren't here, so what? Too late, peace out. Mm. Fuck off. Y'all can stay in this line over here for what's left over after that, but it ain't gonna be no Jordans. Like they were, that's what they were saying, right? So, uh, you know, a lot of flim flam went down. Wristbands matriculated later on that day, that morning. Okay. You know, wristbands sort of appeared. They duplicated. And, they just you put some water on it the and they wristband just, just multiply. They like little rabbits. Those wristbands. Interesting. Right? Interesting. So um, hold on. Let me ask the viewers right now. Should I no. stop them and investigate this a little bit more? I'm not going any deeper with that. All right. Wristbands. Right. Wristbands appeared. Right. Um, and you know we got online and we just we blended and even first in was, line. No, we weren't first. They the wristbands were numbered, but like you know as with everything, like you move right. All right, you know, I won't press you on that. As with everything, you move right, you walk, you get in. So they sold the 100 people with wristbands off white Jordan 5s, right? I got two out of that. I got mine and one of the kids I brought with me. Let me give a little context, all right? So I asked Dre. I just hey. want to clap for this kid. I wish it was me. Yeah, I asked Dre, hey, uh, you got any interesting stories about what happened in All-Star Weekend? <sighs> and he told me this one story off camera. Yeah. Now I'm going to need him to tell you guys. On camera. Go right, ahead. So, Go ahead. Now, when... These first release, Nike did a sneaker pass for them, right? We all know what the sneaker pass is. It goes live. You got to click, click, click. It's your size. You know, hope for the best, right? So a friend of mine, um, I don't even want to say his name. Don't. I'm not even going to say his name. And that's not because I'm not trying to give him shine. If you ask me, I'll tell you who he is. I'll give you his Instagram. This kid is legend. This kid is legend. He deserves all the accolades in the world for this move, right? So... He got, I guess, all these people trying to hit the pass. You know, all my people trying to hit the pass. A reseller got like, you know, their mother, their brother, their uncle, their cousin trying to hit that pass, right? So his girl hits a pair, right? Problem is his girl's in New York, right? So she hits the pass. So she next day airs him her ID. He gets the ID, now he's in Chicago, the pass is, you know, tomorrow. You, you, you hit the pass at three o'clock, she next day aired it, he got it early in the morning. Now I gotta go pick up this pass. So now he has to go find a girl that looks enough like his girlfriend to pass with the ID. He couldn't do it. It was too short notice. He's not from the town. He doesn't know people out there. He couldn't find a girl that looked like his girlfriend that was willing to go in there and try to purchase the shoe for him under his girlfriend's name. So, he sends in one of his homeboys that is the same skin complexion and height as his girlfriend. The kid goes in there. Can we get some details on this uh, doppelganger? Like, oh, what height are we talking about? Like five, four? Like five, six. Five, five, six. five, five, six. You know what I mean? How much? How much oh, Brown skin dude, maybe, you know, 170, 180. You know what I mean? Chunky for that height. Okay. Right? Not crazy, right? So he goes in there with my friend's girlfriend's ID with the reservations under. Mike goes in there with Sally's ID, right? Fake aliases, okay. Yeah. Mike goes in there with Sally's ID. Open your sneaker pass, you know, he logged into the phone to the account. Here's my sneaker pass ID, here's my ID. I'm maybe six people back, just there to see what's going down. The manager takes the idea to whoever, the guy at the sneakers booth, because inside that hub, they had a regular retail space and they had a sneakers pickup booth for oh, people God. that hit the sneakers at, right? He takes the idea and he looks at it and immediately his face is, <laughs> try to pull fast, so you think I'm gonna let this go by? I can, I can see him thinking this. So he looks at the guy and says, this isn't you. <laughs> Hence, now Mike, the, the you know, Michael, Looks at the guy straight in the face and says, Now that used to be me. I'm transitioning into a man. <laughs> Deadpan. Just smoothest delivery ever. Like, what, what do you mean that's not me? That used to be me. I'm transitioning into a man. Is there a problem? 
Bro, the manager's face and the sneakers past dude's face was just like, bruh. <laughs> you can see, bruh, just on his face. Like, no way in fucking hell. But I guess, like, they just, you know, they that, that's a touchy, that's a delicate subject in this day and age. They let him get the fucking sneaker. They let him get the Airship New Beginnings pack. They let Mike pick that pack up under Sally's name. Amazing. So as you were watching him purchase it and walk just, out, I, just, I was trying to just like not, drop? I was just trying not to burst out into like laughter so that it looked hot. Like I didn't want to make it hot. You know what I mean? <laughs> I was just like, so when you got outside, when you left the hub and you saw your friend, you give him a setting of it. I got You saw your friend's friend. He, he's, he's skipping me on every line from now till for, he's got a pass in my book. We hear the word that, um, yo, they're gonna be giving out some free sneakers to the, you know, the community the town, Chicago. Adidas is gonna be giving away free Yeezys. Kanye's gonna be giving away free Yeezys. And now, like, all these little tweets start circulating, and we see pictures of these, like, monster trucks. He's like, they look like micro machines on steroids. Like, you remember what micro machines were? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we hearing this, and I got a tweet about locations and these parks. So, we're running around driving, trying to find these parks, trying to find these trucks. And then, my boy Chris again gives me a call. Yo, Dre, I found the trucks. To share my location with you. Who's this Chris guy? It's my brother, Chris. All right. TMB. Shoot over to him. We find the parking lot where they got the truck set up, and we were watching them take out pairs of Yeezys out of a big white van, loading up these black fucking tanks. These things are massive, right? They're called Sheps or Sherps. 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 Sherp ATV. Right? These things go on water, these things go on land, they're crazy. Like, they got cops there, they got a cop at the blocking traffic, so we can't even go down the, the street. AK? No, no AK. Uh -oh. We got, they got cops blocking traffic, so we can't even drive into the parking lot where they're at, right? And they're watching us, they know we're watching them, and it's like five or six cars at this point now just waiting for them to start moving, right? They're probably waiting for Quavo. Quavo was not, they were two sets of these trucks. Oh, okay. I, I, I never saw Quavo with that set of trucks. Oh. That set of trucks was somewhere else. So you probably saw, because I think there was a total of 10 trucks. There was, I saw You're five. Probably, okay. I saw five okay. and there were another five. Like, I didn't see any of that, like, okay. having to take the sneaker off junk. That None of that happened on my trucks. And I don't think any of that was, like, by Adidas. I think somebody just was like, oh, yeah, I got him. I'm put him straight to the foot. And then it kind of just blew up after that. A lot of people ask me, like, yo, you got to take off your shoe? Not at all. So, so um, wait. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go into that. Dispel that rumor. So yeah. that obviously media companies. Yeah, they did not. They want Yo, the to way the media it. companies twisted around is crazy because they crazy. also said that they pulled up in front of the Fear of God release to do it, right? Originally, and like what they forgot to mention is that the Fear of God release is at St. Alfred's, but literally across street from St. Alfred's is the Adidas original store. So all they did was pull up in front of the Adidas store to do it. Like they made it seem like Kanye was like saying "fuck Nike" and he pulling up in front of the Nike event. Like no, there's a fucking Adidas store right there. The main Adidas store for the whole city is right. There. Yeah. Dispel the, the rumor that they had to forfeit their shoes. No, not at all. Not at all. So there was one was, dude yeah. that had on a pair of fear gods, right? That was like, I got the easy lit, I'm putting it right on my feet, cause you know, people want to be extra and loud, like yeah, and just to show that he's like not a reseller and he's a proud consumer and he loves it himself, like ah, they're going straight to the feet. And then one guy did it and then another guy did it. And that's and that's something I heard from somebody that was at that one. Like, yo, no way in hell, bro. Like we have to get the shoes. You know what I mean? Like it just that's how it happened, but that ain't something that like Adidas pushed or like that wasn't like a criteria you had to meet by no way in hell. Okay, so you're in the parking lot, you see them, you wait patiently for them to roll out. Obviously, once they leave the parking lot, you probably pounce on them. Well, they're like the thirsty <laughs> fool you are. I know this. <laughs> no, we followed them for a while before any pounce. Wow, patience. We follow them, but like those things, those things are big, but they don't move fast. We just go like 30 miles an hour. And then like the cops were trying to like, cops were trying to like stop the traffic so that we couldn't go so that they could get ahead. So we were like making U-turns going how around many, blocks. How many people, and, was it just your car? No, there was like six cars full of dudes doing this. And then Chicago for some reason has, um, every block has an alley cutting through it. There are alley after alley after alley on residential, on the, the commercial streets. You didn't notice that, all the alleys? There's fucking yeah, alleys everywhere. Right. I've never seen alleys like this before in my life. So um, we're cutting through alleys. We're running along the other block. Just, you know what I mean? Stop and wait. night. there they are. Go to the next block. Just, all right, there they are. Go to the next block. Yo, I think they're going to make a left. Let's turn to right here. No, they didn't. We got to make a U-turn. Wow, it reminded me of the old Supreme days, honestly. It was funny. It reminded me of the old Supreme days. So, um, you know, we're chasing them down, whatever, right? And then at one point, 
I think that they weren't able to get to where they were going because like all the locations were supposed to be parks and they just pulled over and started doing it like in the middle of a residential block, bro. So who was the first they one to get it? Over. I fuck if I know, bro. Because his thing is so many cars. It, though. Yeah, his, there's so many cars where I was driving, which was to my detriment. You know what I mean? Bad move. So I'm driving and like everybody in my car is like, all right, yo, they stop and pull over. Everybody jumps out, starts running over there, right? But now it's called double parked already. It's like, I can't leave my car triple parked. There's a cop. I'm like, finally, I see a little place where I can put it. I make the U-turn, double park, jump out, run over. Caught the last one out the truck. Caught the last one aside. And hence, the, the last photo one. that went viral. Yeah, yeah, yes. And then they, they were like, oh, can we take a picture of you? And I was like, ta-da. <laughs> this is it right here. That's the joint right That's there? That's the joint right there. This is a size 8, the 12 <laughs> away, but this is it right here, man. I love this sneaker. I really do. I love this sneaker. That was quite a story. Yeah. They were just handing out random sizes? Yeah, they didn't really. Like, oh, okay. I mean, you know, whatever. Like, the, the people that were in the truck were these corporate people that I've run across before in my dealings. You know what I mean? So they like, didn't they see you familiar. Yeah, 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 they knew what it was. It was like, this, so like, ugh, this guy. I don't want to give him the pair, but nah, they he's the to only one the with the hand. They wanted to give me the pair. They wanted to give me the pair. They, oh. they looked out. They were, they were like, friend. They were like, oh, shit, homie, what up? Hit it back. It was cool. It must it was be cool. nice, man. It was cool. It must be nice. You was there. You was there for I Adidas. I was not there. You was there for Adidas. Where's your pair? Adidas. I, I will tell How you. How you bring him out there? I mean, they got. I will tell you exactly where I was uh -huh. while you were getting that pair. Yeah. I was probably across town shooting content for Adidas Legacy Day, but they also opened, reopened a store named Tony Sports. Oh, I, I got a pair out of there. I had a raffle out of there. The yeah, following I got a little keychain. Yeah. yeah. Yep. 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 Okay. Yep. But that's where I was. Wow, all the madness was happening. And they didn't give you a fucking pair, bro. I guess we'll move Adidas, on. Adidas, you gotta do right, man. Adidas, they, you know how many pairs they had in there? Adidas, you gotta do right by my man Tony. But we'll keep it moving, shall we? See, let's keep it moving. This okay. is a great shoe, though. So Shout out Adidas. It. Let's do an inventory check right now. So now at this point, I got an airship, I got 285s, I got two off whites, um, and a bunch of these guys. A bunch of these guys. Um, whilst, yeah. Bunch of these guys. I wish a bunch of these guys. Whilst doing the Yeezy chase, I missed my raffle call, which really sucks. But for my, these, for these, oh, for those. But one of my guys got a call and he was able to get snag a pair. So, uh, and then these right here are actually something that's pretty special, supposedly. So there's the Air Fear Goss strings, aka the question. Um, but what people are saying now is that Jerry Lorenzo's ties with Nike are now through and through. They're done. This is the last sneaker that they're going to release, and that release was the only time it's releasing. And I don't know this to 100% be a fact, but that's word down the grapevine, and, like, the numbers on these are rising every day by hundreds of dollars. Like, when I bought them, they were 600. They're, like, over 12 now or something like that. Jerry Lorenzo shared a link in his story to a post by some dude who I don't even know. You click the button on the story, it takes you to a post where the guy is saying how Jerry Lorenzo and Nike have cut ties. Mm. So for Jerry to have reshared that link was kind of like I felt a little subconscious you know what I mean like a little subliminal or whatever so now inventory check I got a bunch of threes I got one pair of ship pack I got 285s I got this bad boy I got two of these for free off the truck one me and one a kid that I brought down there and I got two of those bad boys okay off whites so once you get that what, what happens next Saturday night back at the hub Saturday night back, back at, at the, the hub. hub. Yeah, exactly. And um, we were like, you know, it's the last day. Hopefully they're going to they gonna give up the goose and give us whatever else they got in there. And it was madness, man. We got to the hub around midnight and there was fucking 300 people in that tent already. Because, like, people already realized, like, yo, they gave away shit the first two days. They gave away shit yesterday and the day before at the hub. So everybody was like, we're going to be at the hub. And it was just a million people at the hub, and it was, it was madness. That Sunday, the, the hub wasn't even open. They only opened for retail from 8 to noon, just to shell shit. And um, it was fucking madness, but I got two air ship packs that day. Wow, on yeah, Sunday? Got, on Sunday, two air ship packs. I got one, and one of the kids I had with me got one. So, and then um, the other kid got another pair of off-whites. So now I ended my weekend, that, and that was the last purchasing that Sunday morning, right? So now I ended with three air ship packs, 285s, one off-white, Fuck little bees. I hit three raffles of these alongside the two that I got for free. So five pair of quantums and three pair of off whites. And a partridge and a pear tree. This all star weekend lived up to the hype. It was great. It was freezing, but it was it was amazing. It was awesome. All right. Well, I want to see more. Nike, Adidas, come on, let's make Indiana next year just as lit. Like, come on, let's 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 keep it going, man. You can't just like Charlotte with blue chills and that was it. Like, what were they doing? All right. All Stars Weekend's a thing. We'll come out to everything. Just give us the product. It was amazing. They put on a great show. They put on a great everything. 
The hub was lit, sneakers were lit, everything was just, it was amazing. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna end this episode here. Make sure you tune in to the next episode where we talk about today's Supreme Drops. Yeah.